Disney employees are turning against the company and its CEO, Mr. Bob Chapek, in response to the company helping to fund Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill. Hello, I'm Edward Lauder and welcome to Small Screen. This is, of course, YouTube. So here's where I ask you to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's it, on with the video. Florida's governor, Ron DeSantos, passed the Parental Rights in Education Act and this bill is just awful. In short, it's a bill to prevent teachers up to the third grade in Florida and schools from discussing sexual orientation or gender identity in their curriculums. The bill has been heavily criticized and people were shocked when it was revealed that Disney had a pretty big hand in making this bill a reality. What? What are you talking about? Yes, I couldn't actually believe it either. It was revealed that in the last two years, the House of Mouse has donated almost $300,000 to supporters of the so-called Don't Say Gay bill. In a nutshell, this means that Disney has been donating money to many of the politicians, including Ronda Santos, who came up with this bill. Well, in order to get a clearer picture of what people inside the company think about this news, we've actually been talking to some of the employees over at Disney. Understandably, these employees who ended up talking to us about the current situation inside Disney all wish to remain anonymous, and being the good old journalists we are, we will of course respect their wishes. Okay, you and I are going to have to have an agreement that you're not going to reveal the source of your information. Bob Chapek's recent comments about Disney's funding anti-LGBTQ politicians have really struck a chord with people inside the company, and not in a good way, one employee told us. They went on to add, many employees are not happy with how the company's being run, and specifically Chapek's leadership. We feel let down that Bob Chapek, Disney CEO, refused to publicly denounce the bill they finished. It must be said that Chapek did actually speak out against the bill last week in an internal staff email. However, he and the rest of the Disney leadership refused to publicly condemn the bill. In the internal staff email, Chapek said that Disney's leadership unequivocally stands with their LGBTQ plus employees, but said that corporate statements do very little to change outcomes or minds. He added that they are often weaponized by one side or the other to further divide and inflame. And I just want to come out. The decision is what prompted the staged walkouts from employees. Disney's employees marched to a rally at the Walt Disney Company in Orlando in protest against Chapek's decision not to condemn the bill publicly. It's safe to say that the mood inside the Disney camp has really changed and this could spell the end of Chapek's time as Disney CEO. It's just been one controversy after another ever since he took over the company from Bob Iger. The era of Iger was pretty smooth sailing for Disney and it saw the House of Mouse become the biggest company on the planet. However, Chapek and his cronies, the pencil and spreadsheet pushers he promoted since becoming CEO, have almost single-handedly managed to demolish Mickey Mouse's castle brick by brick. It's becoming untenable for many people working at Disney, the Disney employee told us. People feel that the leadership is failing them and they are considering leaving the company because of it. There could be a massive exodus in the weeks and months to come if things do not change and fast. Speaking with another Disney employee who also wished to remain anonymous, it seems as though members of the LGBT cube community at the company are seriously considering leaving because of the current leadership and the company's ties to Florida's Don't Say Gay Bill. I've really been struggling with this because it's been a life lifelong dream of mine to work for Disney, began the employee who is also a member of the LGBTQ plus community. They continued, however, it's got to the point where I'm actually considering leaving because of how the company has conducted itself over this. What's going on is abhorrent and the leadership has proven itself to be completely out of touch with the modern world. They went on to state that they know it's difficult to work for a company with a completely clean record. However, there is something more sinister about Disney's recent politics that cannot be denied given their public image of promoting equality for everyone. Everyone. It's completely hypocritical, said another Disney employee who agreed to speak to us but also wished to remain anonymous. How can you claim to make movies and TV shows promoting the LGBTQ plus community and other minorities and then fund such a terrible bill and such awful politicians? This has to change and it needs to change quickly, but given who's in charge at the moment, it doesn't look like it'll happen anytime soon, they finished. There's a very dark mood inside the House of Mouse at the moment. Employees are not happy and these recent walkouts are just the beginning. It sounds as though there are a lot of people who are currently working for the company who might be looking for employment elsewhere. That must be such a horrible decision to have to make given how tough it is to secure a job with the biggest and most iconic company in the world. Disney is supposed to be the place where dreams become a reality and instead it's been revealed to be propped up on a bed of lies and deceit. If Disney does not get its house in order very soon, this could spell the end of the company. No, 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 no.
well, maybe not the end, but it could spell very bad news for the company that gave so many people so much joy over the years. It goes without saying that Disney's past is already marked with all sorts of terrible controversies which go all the way back to its founder, Mr. Walt Disney. However, we are now in the 21st century and Disney has to be better than the rest. It needs to be led by someone who truly understands that fact and it seems as though they might have made a mistake by promoting Bob Chapek to the position of CEO. Who knows what will happen in the future, but hopefully things will change because if they don't, then there will be choppy times ahead for the House of Mouse. I am never going to financially recover from this. We were told a while back that Peter Rice was to come in and help Chapek course correct his handling of talent and creatives. Were they in too deep by that time he came on board? Has that changed? We're doing some investigating and we will report back with our findings. What do you make of all of this? Are you at all shocked by Disney and Bob Chapek's actions? Let us know your thoughts in the comments as we do read all of them. And if you enjoyed this video, we would ask you to like, subscribe, and also crack that notification bell. It would help us to continue to bring you more videos like this. This has been Edward Lauder here at Small Screen. Thank you for watching, and we will see you next time.